The Eurasian magpie. A beautiful and intelligent bird without a doubt, and one that swiftly turns into a vicious killer. By targeting smaller birds and their eggs and chicks in particular, the magpie has a huge negative effect on avian biodiversity. It's actually off limits in the United States, but it's an open season for culling those all year round in many European countries. I chose several locations that appeared to be infested with these birds, the first one of which is an abandoned construction site. I got lucky and managed to shoot the first one at close range upon my very arrival. My next step was to deploy decoys, plastic ones and the bird that I had just shot. As could be expected, it wasn't long until they attracted some attention. Oh, I knew that I got that one good. There it is, about 50 yards from where I shot it. That makes two for the day, but we'll see if I'm going to stay a little longer because it's already getting dark. I might call it a day. And apparently I can't get rid of stray cats and dogs no matter where I go or what kind of pests I target. A second dog arrived at the scene right after the first one had knocked over my plastic magpie. Fortunately for me the canines were not that interested in the dead birds. It's the following day, I'm at the same location and I've been waiting for a couple of hours already with no success at all. The weather is pretty bad today, it's overcast and I don't even know if the wind protector on my mic is working because the wind speed is 18 to 20 miles per hour. The dogs are on to me again. <laughs> I placed three decoys this time and even an egg. And I'm thinking the egg is gonna be gone after this. I also think that I should probably switch locations. That's one of the decoys up there. Right underneath it, we have the other two. And down there, that orange thing you see in the grass is the egg that the dog played with. Well, I guess it's time I admit defeat. And switch to another location. That's something you don't see every day. There is a magpie on that road and a bird of prey hovering right above it. Needless to say, I couldn't take a shot on account of all the traffic in the distance and the lack of a safe backstop. On my way home, I stopped by a small aggregate depot. That one was right out there. Sorry for the ambient noise, guys. There is a road right behind me. I didn't want to waste any time measuring the distance with my laser range finder, so I just took the shot. I think it was close to 45 yards. The day is coming to an end. It's getting dark and it's getting really cold, but I think that I heard some more magpies down there. So I'm gonna go further in, see if I can shoot another one.
The magpie was perching right over there on top of that pile. The distance was 92 yards. And in the slow motion you can clearly see how the pellet was pushed by the wind to the right. Right before I left I got the chance to shoot one last magpie from less than 25 yards. If you watch closely the replay you'll see that it may have already been injured and that's why it let me get so close. And here is a little something for those of you who think that shooting the Leshy 2 is no fun. That's an old vineyard, another place at which I've seen magpies. And I'm sure that the owners won't mind to get rid of some of them. I'm very happy with the performance of the Leshy, two consecutive shots at 87 yards. And I think I'll be able to collect those two. Let's go get them. That's shot number one. It was perching up here. And about five yards further that way, we've got the second one. Honestly guys, I didn't set this up, that's exactly how I found it. I think I'm gonna use these as decoys. I decided to go back to the first location where the plastic decoys alone didn't work. Let's see if the two that I shot at the vineyard are going to attract some magpies. Well guys, I guess that makes it official. The best magpie decoys are real magpies. It was a nice chest shot. The last magpie of the day didn't venture too close to the decoys. The bravo that you heard was my buddy expressing his satisfaction with me firing a short burst. And we can't miss the opportunity to get a crow. No more magpies around here today, but I did notice several feral pigeons perching 
Right over there, there are remnants of an old bridge. I'm gonna try to get close and get a clearer shot. And guys, there's a new air gunning channel on the platform, the Black Paw Gunner. My buddy Peter is just about starting his pesting adventures in Idaho and Washington, so please stop by his channel, check out his content, and let's not forget that we must give the new guys a chance. Thanks for joining me on another Leshy 2 adventure, everyone. We've got more reviews, testing, and pesting coming soon, so stay tuned and be safe.